You. Yes, you. Do you have a sweetheart in your life? A person whose heart you want to make flutter? A crush who hasn't spotted you in that tree yet? Well, good news. You can try your hand at romantic poetry. Now, what is poetry, you may ask? Well, it is really quite simple. You put word in order to make sound good. Poetry has been around ever since 2500 BC, with the first ever poem being entitled Hymn to the Death of Tammuz. Romantic. Now, poetry has been around for a long time, and during that time it has made many a heart skip a beat. But there are a few facts that people tend to miss. Firstly, did you know poems don't have to rhyme? In fact, the aforementioned first ever poem didn't even rhyme. Yet it was super freaky, with lines such as, I will drink your fresh milk. But where do you begin when writing a romantic ballad? Well, let's start with the following line. You are beautiful. This line is renowned throughout time as what you say when you like someone. But it is a bit bland and overused. Let's spice it up a bit. First, we need a comparison. After all, what is beautiful for an ant is hideous for a person, and we don't want to compare anyone to an ant. So let's take an example of something everyone agrees is beautiful. You are as beautiful as the moon. Great job. We can stop there, or can we? Just comparing someone to a big rock is hardly enough to make the person of your dreams run away into the sunset with you. So, let's switch up the placements of the words. The moon is as beautiful as you. Now we stop. The object of this sentence has been ruined. We want the poem to be about the person, not the moon. The moon is jealous of your beauty. Much better. Now, we are not only comparing the person's beauty to a beautiful thing, we are also making the person out to be better by adding an emotion to the object. Now, one line can be a poem. There is no limit to the amount of words that define poetry. But I think we can do a bit better than one line. <clears throat> When I gaze upon you, I realise it is true. The moon is jealous of your beauty. This comes across a little weird. We need to personify the moon more. When I gaze upon your moonlit face, I realise her jealousy is true. And by showering you in her light, it is the least that she can do. Now I know, I know, I told you that poems don't have to rhyme, but I couldn't help myself. So, how has it changed and how did we get here? When I gaze is far better wording than when I look. Why? The eloquence of the word as well as how it flows. Look sounds pointy, the sort of word you expect to end a sentence whilst gaze flows smoothly, drifting you towards the rest of the poem. I realise her jealousy is true. This line is the first personification of the moon. How do we know it is about the moon though? Well, that's easy. Despite never outright saying, the moon told me, we instead mentioned moonlit face, which is both nice to hear and tells us all the character we are talking about. <laughs> Approach poetry as you would a story. Now the following line is more reflective on the intimacy of romance. Showering you in her light. Showering is used to describe bathing as well as to give someone. For example, they were showered in praise. 
We recognize showering as positive, as it is an action that can be very private or shared romantically, a place where we are most vulnerable. And by utilizing that concept, we create a romantic line. Finally, the weakest line in my opinion. It is the least that she can do. This line is the weakest line, but that doesn't mean it is bad. Each line in a poem has a purpose. This line is simply there to end the poem. But to me, I feel as though it stops too abruptly. To remedy this, I personally would continue to add more verses. But then you also run the risk of bloating the poem. I hope you have found this poem useful. And as a little fun game, why don't you leave your poems in the comments below? My favourites will be put in the start of the next video. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye for now.